Alfred Hitchcock has this wonderful quote uh, which is, the better the villain, the better the picture. And uh, that was something that I really took to heart in the creation of um, uh, my no novel's villain, uh, Robert Lemoyne. Um, I had been reading a lot of books on psychopaths, actually, and psychopathic behaviour. Uh, I began with John Ronson's in, in, incredibly amusing book, The, the Psychopath Test. And um, I, I, I wanted him to be appealing as a, vil a villain, to be a, a kind of a charming, um, even, even kind of seductive character, um, to be very quick in his dialogue and, and kind of attractive in, 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 his, in his person. I wanted um, uh, him, him to be the kind of villain that you you kind of d both desperately want the, the, the characters to fall in with and also you're shouting at the same time, please, 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 look behind you, <laughs> he's behind you. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that one of the um, one of the things that's very difficult about writing about the contemporary world is how how polarized we've all become politically, and how intolerant we have been be, become to spend any kind of second of our time. Uh, countenancing views that we might not already have decided that we uh, either agree with or, 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 or disagree with kind of um, uh, from the outset. Um, and that poses a problem for a novelist because you know no novels live in nuance, they live in, um, in, in the mistakes and the blunders that the, 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 the char characters make and the discoveries of the limits of their self-awareness that's always been rich fodder for the, for the novel. And so I, I knew that I wanted to contend with kind of big themes of our age, you know, the, the, the big problems that we're facing that, that, are, that might seem unsurmountable, it might be unsurmountable, but we're, we're still kind of figuring out how we're going to respond to them. But I didn't want to do it in a way that would end up serving uh, social media and would end up it kind of serving the imperatives of the people who I most wanted to critique, the kind of... Um, uh, the, the, the billionaires and uh, kind of tech barons of the world whose, whose power essentially comes from all of us. You know, every, every time we click on anything, every time we take out our phone, we are enriching them personally. Um, and so, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a challenge to kind of to, to, to speak to these contemporary themes without perverting the project of the novel, actually. I think that it's, it's very important that literature and activism remain separate spheres that, that e are each important and each critical, but, um, but need to be thought about in different ways and need to be um, kind of approached in, in, in different ways. Um, I, the, the last thing I wanted this novel to be was a, a kind of a mouthpiece for my own political ideas. I wanted it to be a, a novel, not, not, a, um, not a manifesto. Thank you.